Hey guys, I'm back with part 4 for this tutorial on how to build this one story traditional house. Here in this video, we're going to be doing all of the interior furnishings. So I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using here in the living room first. So I'm just going to scroll through them all and you can pick out all the ones you're going to need to grab. So let's start by marking out where the couches are going to be first. So I'll look at the front wall where the entrance is. And we have the gray concrete and I'll place two blocks right there. Three to the right of that. And then another one branching out on the other side. Go from the corner of the edge of the couch there. So starting here. And we're going to place another two gray concrete blocks. We'll bring this over by four. And then we'll bring this other end in. So that is a small couch there, and that's a small couch there. We'll go ahead and fill in the space with the smooth quartz slabs. And then we'll grab the dark oak wood stairs, and we'll have one on each side, and two upside down. We'll do the same on this side. So like that, so just two stairs on each side, and then upside down ones in between them. Now switch to the smooth quartz slabs. And we're going to line up with that couch there. We're going to be one space away from it. And we'll have three. And then another two. And then one in the middle. So it's a three by three square. In the middle, we'll add two slabs stacked up. And then we'll have a flower pot and a fern. Now let's carve out the hole that we're going to fill in with sea lanterns. And then cover up with the carpet. So I'll start right here on the edge of the couch. And I'll dig this out until we're lined up at the edge of that couch. We'll bring it in, and then you could go behind this couch, and maybe just push it back an extra two. And then we'll delete all of these blocks right here. And then we'll work our way back in until we're lined up with this space, and delete these as well. So if I go up above, we kind of just have this rectangle right here. We'll go ahead and fill all this in with sea lanterns, and this will be our main light source here for the living room. And then you could grab the light gray and gray carpet, and we could just have a little pattern between the two. So I'll maybe start with the light gray, maybe like that, and then the rest of it will have gray. Maybe we could have light gray here. Okay, and that looks good. I guess we'll go ahead and do the cutouts in the wall next. So make sure you have your dark oak wood stairs. We'll look at this wall first. And we're going to leave one space away from the edge of the doorway. So we're going to be right here. We'll carve out two. And we'll bring this all the way up to right there. So leaving one space at the top. We're going to have two dark oak wood stairs facing up at the bottom. And then two upside down on top of that. And then we'll have two upside down here at the top. Leaving four spaces here. We're going to grab a painting. And then a wither skeleton skull, and I'll grab the jungle sapling. And you can have a painting right there, and that one looks good. I'll have a wither skeleton skull, and then a flower pot with the sapling. And then we'll look at this wall, and we'll do the same thing. So just the two spaces right in the middle. And we'll bring this up until we have one space remaining at the top, just like that one. We'll have the dark oak wood stairs at the bottom. Two upside down at the top. We'll have another painting here. I like that one. We'll have the flower pot. And then we need to grab the regular skeleton skull. And the birch sapling. Alright. Oh, hang on. Let me make sure. There we go. So we have those two cutouts done. Just adds a little bit more to the walls. Now, let's grab the... Jungle log, jungle leaves, and jungle trapdoor. We'll have a log in that corner. Three jungle leaves on top of that. And then jungle trapdoor is on the side of the log. We'll do that for this corner as well. So this is everything so far. 
Uh, let's go ahead and maybe do the chandelier next. So, make sure to go ahead and grab the dark oak fence, the chain, the lantern, and the brick wall. So, we'll start with the brick wall. We'll go all the way up here in the ceiling, lined up right down the middle. We'll have two brick walls, and then we'll have two chains. And then we'll have a dark oak fence, and then we'll branch it out on this layer on each side. And then underneath all the fences, we'll hang down a lantern. And I actually want to extend this carpet out one more block. So I'll delete a strip right here, fill it in with sea lanterns. And then we'll have light gray there, and then the rest of it gray. Now let's go ahead and do the fireplace right here in this corner. And then this living room is all done. So I gathered up all the blocks we're using here for the fireplace, so just grab the brick, granite, brick stairs, granite stairs, nether rack, iron bars, and flint and steel. And real quick, just make sure fire spread is turned off, just in case, so you don't burn your house down. So I'm just going to start with the brick, and just do the overall shape of the fireplace, and then we'll add extra texture with the other blocks. So, I'm going to line up right here, and I'll carve out three and replace it with brick. And line up here and do the same thing. So we're leaving this corner space empty. Now let's carve out four blocks right here. We'll replace that with the brick. And then we'll go on each side where this space is. And that space is. Place a full block. On top of that we'll just have a brick stair. Let's grab the iron bars. And we'll have three right here in the corner. So they all connect together like that. Let's replace these three blocks of wood here with the nether rack. And then let's switch back to the full blocks. So I'll just be using the brick. And I'll place two on that side. Two on that side. And then a stair on top of those. And then one more full block right here in the middle. And that's the overall shape of this fireplace. And we'll leave that opening there so it looks like the smoke from the fire could actually vent out. But we do have to replace all these blocks here at the back. So we'll just delete anything that you see. We could just leave that corner empty, or leave it just as it is, because that's just going to be covered up anyway. Okay, so just make sure all of this is filled in with brick, so it all looks nice. And now, let's go ahead and add our extra texture. So I'm going to grab the granite stairs. Maybe replace that stair, and that one. And then I'll replace a few of the bricks with granite as well. So that looks good there. Replace some here in the back. And I like that. Okay. And then a couple up here at the top. And that looks good. Now. Let's go ahead and use our flint and steel and light this up. And now that fireplace is done. Next up, we'll head on to this bedroom. Alright, I gathered up all the blocks we're using here for this bedroom. So I'm going to scroll through them all. So let's start by doing the bed first. Make sure you have your full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll place two right there in the corner. And then we'll have a stair on each side. So that's the headboard. And let's also be sure to grab the white concrete and light gray concrete. We'll start with the white concrete. We'll have a total of four right there, so two rows of two. And then two blocks of light gray. And then another row of white. Then we'll grab full blocks, place them right there, and have slabs on top, so that is the footboard. Over here we'll have a full block and an upside down stair. Next to the headboard, we'll have two side or two stairs on their side, like side by side like that, so it looks like a nightstand. And then I'm gonna grab the snow and I'm gonna use these as pillows. If your snow melts, feel free just to use white carpet. Just gonna add them like that. 
Let's grab these smooth quartz slabs. And we'll have a shelf. Uh, maybe right there on that layer. And let's go ahead and mark out the desk. So we'll grab the smooth quartz stairs. We'll have one on that side. And then one curving into it. One on that side and curving into it. So we're left with one space in the middle. We'll have that as a slab. And then we'll have a slab right here to start out the chair. We'll have a birch sign on each side of the slab. And then we'll go ahead and grab the iron door. We'll place that right behind the slab. And you know what I'm going to grab? Which I actually don't think I used in the original build. I'm going to grab a banner. You can have whichever blue color you want. Whichever is your favorite. I think I'm going to use the cyan. And we'll have that right there. Oh, I think I have to crouch. We'll have it right there. So it matches the walls a little bit. Adds a little bit more. So that's cool. And then let's go ahead and not do the decorations there yet. Uh, let's do the carpet and the floor. So we'll carve out a hole. We don't want to be too close to that snow so it doesn't melt. So we'll carve out a hole like this. I think we, you know what? We'll have the carpet here, but we won't have sea lanterns there so that it's not too close. And then let's go ahead and fill this hole in right here with the sea lanterns. And then we'll grab the three colored carpets. So the blue, light blue, and cyan. And we'll have maybe blue right there. We'll have light blue. And then cyan. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, I think we could start adding all of the decorations now. So, I guess we'll start here at the desk. So make sure you have your painting. And then an end rod. White concrete block pressure plate, stone button, and then you could also grab a flower pot and whichever flower you want. I think I'll just use this one here. So, I'm going to have, or actually we have to place a block like that so we could just have a small painting. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and have a stone pressure plate and a stone button. So that is a laptop and a mouse. And then we'll have a flower pot there with a flower. Over here, we'll have an end rod with a white concrete block so it looks like a lamp. And then one more decoration here could just be maybe a wither skeleton skull. Okay, so that's it for the desk. Next up, let's go ahead and do all the decorations here. So we'll have another end rod and a white concrete block for a lamp. We'll have a flower pot here with the blue orchid. Let's go ahead and grab all of these. So like the creeper head, zombie head, and dragon head. So we'll have the dragon head on the bed so it looks like a toy. And then maybe the zombie head there. And the creeper head. Maybe on that end, like that. And then we'll have a flower pot on top of this. And I'll grab this one here. And then I guess we could just leave that space there empty, that's fine. Let's go ahead and grab a painting now. And we'll have it just right around here. Or maybe a little bit lower. There we go. I think I'm going to have another flower pot right here on this table. So I'll go ahead and grab the white tulip. I think that's the only flower I didn't use. You know what? Maybe we could flip that around. Let's have the flower pot in the back and the zombie head in the front. There we go. So let's add just a little bit more. I think I'm actually going to move this flower pot over to the corner there. And then we'll have a lamp on this shelf. So just right in the middle. Oh, whoops. We don't want that to be coarse. We want that to be white concrete. There we go. And then I'm going to have a painting on this wall and on that wall. So let me go ahead and grab that. They're just going to be two smaller ones. So like that. And then another one on top of it. And that's good. And we'll do the same over here. And that's good. Yeah, that's the last thing I wanted to do in here. So now this room is done. We'll head on to the kitchen and dining room next. So I gathered up all the blocks we're using here for the kitchen. So I'm going to scroll through them all.
So, let's start with these stripped logs first, and we're going to shape out the fridge. So we'll have just two down here at the bottom, all the way at the left. We'll have another two on top of the right block. And then, let's go ahead and have these slabs on top, and then another one down there. So they're all facing in the same direction. We don't want any like that. We want them all looking good. And then we'll have an upside down stair right there in the middle. Now let's continue with the stripped wood. We'll have two more at the right of the fridge. We'll skip over two and have another three. These two empty spaces here we'll carve out in the floor. We'll have campfires and on top of them we'll have furnaces. Now let's do the oven hood. So let's grab the full blocks of the planks. And then we'll also need the dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slabs, the sea lanterns, and the spruce trap door. So, let's grab the planks first. We'll replace these two stairs that are lined up with the furnaces. Like that. And then we'll have two upside down stairs below it. And then two that are facing up. And then we'll go ahead and have two sea lanterns underneath those stairs there. And then on each side of those sea lanterns, we'll go ahead and have a dark oak wood stair. We'll have a slab in each corner. And then slabs all along the bottom, right underneath. And then to cover up the sea lanterns a little bit, we'll just go ahead and have spruce trap doors. Now let's go ahead and do the cabinets. So let's grab these stripped dark oak wood blocks again. And we're going to leave one space at the bottom. So we're having a block there and there. And then over here, we'll have four on that same layer. We'll have dark oak wood slabs on top of those. And then we'll go ahead and just grab the spruce trap door. Cover up all of these cabinets. As well as these spaces here, where the counter space is. And then... We have the backsplash here, so go ahead and grab the quartz bricks. We'll replace all these chiseled quartz blocks, as well as this strip of red concrete. Now let's do the island, so switch back to the strip dark oak wood. And we're going to line up at the edge of the counter space here. We're going to skip over three spaces, so we're starting here on this fourth block. We'll place three wood, and then we'll work it over towards the right another four. So it's going to be a three by five block space. Okay, so we have five, and then three. Now, grab the dark oak wood stairs. We'll have two on this side, facing in that direction, and then two on top of it in the other direction, so it looks like some high chairs. And then we'll carve out these two spaces here, lined up with the oven. We'll replace it with two hoppers. And then we'll grab these spruce trap doors. We'll place two and one. And then we have to crouch and place them right in front of the hoppers. And then we have to grab the bucket of water, crouch again, and fill these in. So now we have the sinks there. Let's go ahead and start adding some of the extra decorations. So we're going to need all of the carpet. The birch button, flower pot with the flower, and the spruce uh, pressure plate, and the lever. So we'll start with the lever first, and we'll make sure these are pointing towards the sink so it looks like the faucet. And then we'll grab the spruce pressure plate. We'll have one over, whoops, hang on, one over there right in the middle so it looks like a cutting board. And then we'll have two in front of the chairs so it looks like they're plates. And then we'll grab the birch button we'll have it right there so it looks like a bar of soap and then the flower pot with the flower all right and now over here we also need to grab the sea lanterns again and we'll carve out maybe a strip starting right here that's fine so we'll do this entire area here so we'll go ahead and fill all this in and then we'll cover it up with the three colored carpets that we got. Alright, so that just matches the walls a little bit. So that looks good. And that is everything here for the kitchen. 
So now let's head on to the dining room. This is probably one of my favorite rooms at the house, mainly because of how I did this wall over here. I think it just looks really nice. So I gathered up all the blocks we're gonna be using here for the dining room. So I'm gonna scroll through all of these now. So I'll look over here at the right first where this wall is and we'll go ahead and start adding all of the detail. So be sure to grab the stripped dark oak wood, the spruce or the uh, dark oak wood stairs, and then we'll need the painting, the skeleton skull, maybe the spruce sapling, and then a flower pot. So we're going to line up where these beams are and carve out a strip going all the way down. We'll do the same here. Replace that with the stripped dark oak. So it looks like some beams that are going down the wall. I thought it looked really nice how these connected. We'll do the same on this side. And then at the bottom, in between each one of those pillars, we'll go ahead and delete two layers of the wall. And then we'll have dark oak wood stairs facing up at the bottom and upside down above that. And that will carve out a six block hole right here in the middle. And we'll have a painting at the bottom, a smaller one at the top, and another one there. And that actually looks really good. And that will have a flower pot just right around there, and a skeleton skull. And that is it there for the wall. This is one of my favorite parts of the house. I just really like how these beams go down and how I have the stairs right there. The ceiling flows together with it really nice. I really like this spot. Let's go ahead and grab the three blocks of wool. And we're going to have just like a rug in the floor, except we're not using actual carpet. We're just using the wool because we're having the dining room table on top of it. And it'll just look a little bit weird having different layers of carpet in between all the chairs. So it just works best with wool. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So we're like two spaces there. And you can see like I'm right here. So I'll go ahead and bring this over to the other side. To right there actually. So we have two spaces at the right. Two spaces at the left. And then we have two spaces of wood here. That's good enough. And then we'll bring this over until we are two or one space away from that wall there. So we're carving out this rectangle. Like that. So we'll go ahead and have three rows of green. And then we'll have two rows of white. And then three rows of brown. So that's nice. Now let's go ahead and mark out the table. So we'll grab the dark oak planks. We'll also need the stairs and the slabs. So we'll start with the planks first. And we'll have two right here in the middle. One on each end of that. And that is it. And then we'll have an upside down stair on each side. And then in each corner we'll have a slab. And now, let's go ahead and mark out where the chairs are going to be. So we'll have a slab at each end of the table. And then two more on the sides. So a total of six. And then let's grab the spruce door. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the decorations too. So the pressure plate. And then the flower pot. The fern. The sign. Banner. We'll also do the chain, the fence, and the lantern. So let's go ahead and have a spruce door behind each one of the slabs. And then on the sides we'll have the signs. Now let's grab the spruce pressure plate. We'll have these in front of each one of the chairs. We'll grab the flower pot, 
We'll have one on each end in between the pressure plate and then we'll have a fern within those. Let's go ahead and grab the brown banner. We'll crouch and have these in front of each one of the chairs. And then we'll grab the dark oak fence, the chain, and the lantern. So we'll have these hanging down from the ceiling. So we'll start with the fence. And we'll just look right down here. We'll have one there. And right here. We'll go ahead and have a chain underneath those. And then a lantern. So that's all there is here. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. I really like how this room turned out. So we are actually almost done. This house isn't too big. So we just have a couple little things here in the hallway. Then we have that uh, bathroom. And then the master bedroom. So we'll head on here to this hallway first. So here for the hallway, I just have light gray, green, white, and gray carpet, sea lanterns, and then jungle trapdoor, jungle log, and jungle leaves. So we'll go ahead and do the bushes in each corner. So we'll have one here, here, there, and there. And then we'll carve out a hole right in the middle. So just from each corner of the bushes. And then we'll fill this in with sea lanterns because it is a little bit dark in here. And then we'll have a pattern with the carpet. So maybe white right there. Maybe gray. Green there. And light gray. And that's good. And that's it for this hallway. Really quick. Nothing crazy about it. Let's head on to the bathroom next. So I gathered up all the blocks we're using here in the bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through all of these. Okay, let's mark out where the bathtub is going to be first. So grab the quartz stairs. And we're just going to curve eight of these all together. Right there on that wall. Next to that, we'll grab the full blocks of quartz. We'll have one there. Two at the left, leaving one space in the middle. That's where the sink is going to be. And then the toilet will be right here. So we'll have a full block. A slab on top of it. An upside down stair. A weighted pressure plate. And a stone button at the left. So that's it for the toilet. And then let's go ahead. We'll have the painting here. So we'll carve out a hole, fill that in with the sea lantern. And then just cover that up with the painting. And then let's go ahead and have a flower pot there. And then we'll grab all of the other blocks we are going to be using. So the hopper or the lever, birch button, hopper, we'll need the fern, birch trap door, tripwire hook. The white stained glass panes so that's it for now we'll fill that in with the fern we'll have the hopper there we'll have a lever pointing down towards it so it looks like the faucet we'll have a birch button there so it looks like a bar of soap and then we'll have birch trap doors in front of all these and then we'll crouch and have one in front of the hopper we have to crouch again fill that in with water we'll go here and fill in the bathtub Oh wait, you know what? Before we do anything, we have to grab the pillar quartz block and I'm going to have a crisscross pattern. So it looks like a looks like tile for the bathtub. So I'll delete three layers in height and just this first layer of the wall. We can leave the corners as they are cuz that's going to be covered up. And that will start. I guess I'll look at this one first. We'll have a sideways one. And then one facing up, and then sideways. So a crisscross pattern. So the sideways one, or this one that's facing up and down, we'll have a sideways one. And then where the sideways ones are, we'll have them facing up and down. Okay. And then right there, that's one up and down. So we have sideways. So you can just keep doing that pattern until it's all filled in. If you want, you could just have the quartz bricks. But I think... Um, I think having the brick as the floor and as the wall is just a little too much. 
but sometimes I like to have the brick as the wall, maybe some chiseled quartz on the floor, but I like to switch it up a bit, and I think this pattern still looks good. This is like something I've always done. So, now let's go ahead and have the tripwire hook there, the lever pointing down as the shower head, and then we'll have three layers of glass, and we'll make it two rows like that. Okay. And that is everything here for this bathroom. A bit of a smaller one. But yeah, there we go. So now let's head on to the final room. We're leaving the garage empty. You could add a car in here if you want. That is up to you. But we'll head on here to the master bedroom. This is the final room of the house we're going to be doing. So I gathered up all the blocks we're using here for the master bedroom. And I think this is the most blocks we've used in a single room. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through all of these now. So we'll start by marking out where the cutouts in the wall are going to be first. So make sure you have your dark oak wood stairs. We're going to have two spaces on each side. So we're going to be starting here on the third block. And we'll just delete. So it'll be left with one space at the top. So just going to have one strip on each side like that. We'll have the stair at the bottom and above that. And then an upside down one here at the top. We'll go ahead and just fill these in with the paintings. That looks good. And then we'll have maybe just some flower pots there, but we'll worry about that later. Let's go ahead and look at this wall. We're going to have two more cutouts. These ones are going to be two blocks wide, and we're going to leave one space at each side. So we'll carve it out right there and right here. And then we'll have a painting. Eh, I don't like that one. Right there. And there. That's good. Okay. And we're going to have a desk right there. We'll have the bed in the middle. Carpet. Some bushes in the corner. Let's go ahead and do the bushes. So I have a jungle log in each corner on uh, this wall. So there we go. This wall is pretty much all done. So let's go ahead and let's see, what else could I use right now? I guess we'll grab the Wither Skeleton Skull, we'll have it there. Did I grab a regular one? Yep, okay. We'll go ahead and grab that and have it there. And then we'll grab the flower pot and then all of the saplings. Or maybe just four of the saplings. So I have a flower pot there and there and then over here. Okay, have whichever saplings you want. So that's good. And now let's go ahead and maybe... I guess we'll do the bed next. That's normally the first thing I would do. So we'll go ahead and grab all of the quartz blocks. And then we'll also need the green concrete and the light gray concrete. So we'll start with the full blocks of quartz. We'll go right in between these windows. So I'll place it more towards the left side, so we're going to be just right up against our window here. And we'll place five. And then we have one space remaining away from that window. We'll have a quartz stair on each side, on like the ends. And then we'll have three upside down right down the middle. And then three slabs on top of that. And then we'll grab the green concrete. We'll have two rows of green that are three blocks wide a row of light gray, and then another row of green. And then we'll switch to the smooth quartz slabs. We'll have four on each side of that. And then we'll have a stair on the end. Three upside down in the middle, and then slabs to top it off. Now, let me grab the snow. And once again, if your snow melts, you could just replace this with white carpet. We'll have that as the pillows. Let's grab the smooth quartz stairs. We'll have two side by side as a nightstand on that side and over here as well. Okay. 
So far, that's all looking good. Since we have all of the quartz blocks, let's go ahead and do the desk. So I have maybe just a stair like that. Maybe another one there and one there. They'll have the slab right there. I have another slab, so that's where the chair will be. Okay. And what other blocks could we use? I guess we'll place the flower pots right there on the inner side of the nightstand. And that's pretty much everything. So let me go ahead and swap out some blocks. We'll grab the end rod. And we'll be using the light gray. So we'll have some lamps on the end of the nightstands. And then we'll fill in the flower pots. Which ones haven't I used yet? So it looks like this one here. Maybe the jungle one is fine. So I have that there. And that one. Let's go ahead and do the painting in the wall right above the bed. So we'll carve out three spaces there. We'll replace that with the sea lanterns. And then I'll grab the painting. And we're just going to have three small paintings up here. So maybe one there. One on the right. Oh, hang on. There we go. I like that one. And there we go. Okay. And I think that's all of the paintings I had. Looks a little dark over here. I think I'm going to add a sea lantern here and there. That added a little bit more light. And then once we add our chandelier, that'll uh, be the final touch. So let me go ahead and cover those up with these spruce trap doors. And then I guess we'll go ahead and do the chandelier. So for the chandelier, we're going to be using the brick wall, the chain, the lantern, and the dark oak fence. So we'll start with the brick wall. We'll place it right there. Then we'll have the chain. And then a dark oak fence underneath that. And then we'll branch it out on each side. And then we'll hang down a lantern from each one of those. So, now we have the carpet and the floor. And then we have to do the decorations there for the desk. And then that'll be it here for this room. So let's go ahead and do the carpet and the floor next. Go ahead and carve out maybe four blocks here. We'll bring over another row like that. Bring this over to the other side. So that we're two spaces after the edge of the bed. Is that good? Maybe one more. Okay. Now let me go ahead and grab these sea lanterns. We'll fill in all of this space. This will be our main light source here for this room. Let me delete these blocks here. And then we'll grab the green wool. Green carpet and white carpet. So these blocks here will fill it in with the green wool. And then we'll have it all green carpet on this side. So now it looks like the carpet is going underneath the bed because we have the wool blocks there. And then the rest of this will have white carpet. So the last thing we have left is the desk. So I'll go ahead and grab all the blocks for that. I'll just clear. Oh no, we need the painting. Okay. So, we'll need this spruce trap door. I think I actually forgot to grab that. I ended up grabbing it for that, but we did need it for the laptop here. So, we'll go on top of the windowsill. And we'll go ahead and have the trap door like that. We'll place a block there, and then we'll crouch and have a painting on top of the trap door. Then we'll have the stone pressure plate and the stone button. So the keyboard and the mouse. We'll have a flower pot with maybe the dark oak sapling is fine. We'll have that over here at the right. At the left, we could just have a skeleton skull. And then let's have birch sign, iron door, and the green banner. I think that's it. So door there. We have to crouch, have the banner. And then the birch trap door, or the birch signs. Okay. And that should be everything. That is everything here for the master bedroom. And that completes this house. Okay guys, that's going to be it here for part 4 for this tutorial on how to build this one story traditional house. And that completes the build. So if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.